finally doing this video, man. I'm finally doing this. Viewer discretion is advised all, all, all over this video. All over this mother All over this video. There's a lot of shit that's going to be happening in this video. As you can tell by the title, this is me reacting to creepy 911 calls. I always... I always love watching creepy videos, especially because it's nighttime. I would like to scare myself. All right, so basically, we're just going to be starting now. They're trying to break down the door right now. They're trying to get in the house right now? Yes, I can hear them. They're like banging on the door, trying to get in. Okay, and is it on just your back door in your backyard? God dang it. It's every time when I start recording, I get traffic. Ma'am, is it in your backyard? Yes. Okay. Can you see them? Ma'am, can you see them? Yes, I can. Okay. Do you, do you see any weapons? What are they trying? Kicking in the door? I don't know. Okay, ma'am, I need you to speak. I know it's hard, but are they trying to kick in the door or just trying to get the door open? I don't know. Okay, then how do you know that? I think they might be inside. Do you hear them in the house? Do you hear them in the house? Where do you hear them? What can you hear them? Okay, don't worry, we have officers on the way. Ma'am, does it still sound like they're in the bedroom with you? No. Okay. Okay, sounds like they're in the kitchen. Okay. But it did sound like two of them? Yes. Okay. Do you have any weapons in the home they can have access to? No. Okay, our officers are almost on scene, but just stay on the phone with me and I will let you know what they want you to do, okay? Do not hang up. If you have to, just don't say anything, but leave the line open, all right? The, the truck that you saw, was it like a full-size truck? Small truck? You hear them coming? Okay, hold on one moment. We have officers almost there. Okay, and how old are you? One more minute. Wait, you know what I just realized? This is actually a little boy. This isn't a man. <laughs> and the operator. Never mind. Whatever. And you were home by yourself? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm sorry, what is it? The police. The, the police are outside. Um, so hold on just one moment. We'll advise. When, what they want you to do, so just stay on the phone with me, okay? And you hear two of them in the room with you? Okay. Have they noticed any police officers out front, or have they said anything? Okay. Okay. Does your closet door have a lock on it where you can lock yourself in if need be? Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Do you have any older brothers or sisters that should, are going to be home? Okay. Okay. Just make it. No. <laughs> He said that they are going to hurt me. They opened the door and saw you? Okay. Okay, well, did they leave? Okay. Just stay on the phone with me, the officer. See him. Do not hang up. You stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. Are you in your bedroom or are you still in the closet? Where you are, I will let you know when the officers what they want you to do, okay? Okay. We have officers that are chasing down the guys that are in your house, but we're going to get somebody to you as soon as absolutely possible. You stay on the phone with me, okay? okay. When the attackers opened the closet and saw the boy, they panicked and ran out of the house. Really? By the time they had left the boy's home, police were on scene. Wow. One of the men was arrested at the scene. The other man was arrested in a backyard several houses down after being tracked down by a police canine. According to the Scottsdale Police Department, Robbie J. Johnson Jr., 36, and Cole Austin Llewellyn, 31, were arrested and charged with multiple felonies. Both men had previous criminal records. Llewellyn had minor injuries after meeting the police canine. 
The boy was not harmed. Thank God, Jesus. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? I'm, I'm sorry, your cell phone's cutting out. We're going north 125. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Our accelerator's stuck. We're on 125 or we're on Okay, northbound 125, where are you passing? We are passing, uh, where are we passing? We're, we're, we're going 120, Mission Gorge. We're in, we're in trouble. We can't, well, there's no brake. Okay. Mission Gorge, in freeway, half mile. Okay, and you don't have the ability to, like, turn the vehicle off or anything? We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Okay. We're approaching the intersection. Hold on. Pray, pray. Okay. Hello? Is that possible? That's like the movie Speed, isn't it? Isn't that what happens in Speed? Or do they get, or do they get like, hijacked or, or something? I don't know. Holy crap. Witnesses reported seeing Alexis weaving through traffic at a high rate of speed. When the freeway ended at Mission Gorge Road, the officials say the driver tried to make a left turn, but was moving too fast. The Lexus struck a Ford Explorer before breaking through a fence and striking a dirt embankment, launching it in the air more than 100 feet before landing on its wheels in thick vegetation and catching on fire. Firefighters were quick to extinguish the flames, but sadly they discovered all four of the Lexus occupants still inside and not responsive. All were determined to have been killed by blunt force trauma either to the head or torso. The driver of the Ford Explorer was taken to the hospital for moderate injuries, but has since recovered. In 2010, the parents of both the officer and his wife accepted a $10 million payout from Toyota. Holy shit! The dealership that provided the rental Lexus settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. After the deaths, Toyota issued 10 million recalls of Toyota and Lexus vehicles to fix the problem with ill-fitting floor mats, sticky pedals, and faulty brakes. Someone followed me and my brother home from school. Our parents are not home. Have you seen this person before? No. Can you please send help? <laughs> Where are you now? I am in the living room. I'm looking out the front window. The tall man is scaring us. What the fuck? Where is this guy? In front of the house. What is he doing? He's standing behind a tree. He's, he's very tall. Help us. I'm scared. <laughs> I got you guys. You should have seen the look on your faces. <laughs> I don't know. The lights went out. I'm scared. Help is on the way. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's happening? He's, he's, he's looking at me. He, he has no face. His face is gone. Calm down. Does he have a mask on? No. He's coming. He's coming. Calm down. Help is on the way. As long as he's outside and you're inside, you'll be fine. Break the window. <laughs> Describe him to me. He has a suit on and a tie. He's very tall. You gotta be kidding me. How do you know my daughter's... How do you know my daughter's name? Goodbye. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, he has a... <laughs> what the fuck? He really just did that.
if you're afraid of clowns, you'd probably consider moving, because this is seriously creepy. The clowns never harmed anyone and didn't destroy any property, aside from the pumpkin. That won't change how truly terrifying these clowns are, though. Anyway, guys, I'm not scared. Uh, these weren't creepy at all. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, do we have 600 subscribers yet? I don't know. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye-bye!